everyone, Susie here, and today we're playing King Arthur Legends Rise. For today's video, this is going to be a chapter one adventure guide. I'm going to go through and show you all of the things you need to find in this chapter. No commentary, just simply set to some music and some notes along the way. We will end with the little graphic story that's quite nice at the very end. But I will point out everything and there will be chapters for all of the things you need to get 100% for this. And I will do this on future chapters. I wanted to also note that I will speed up the gameplay as we go along. So there's just quick walking around when there's nothing important. But you can still see where we are clearly on the map. These are a lot of editing, guys. So... I hope everyone appreciates the effort here for me to make this as quick and easy as possible. The soldiers left behind after Lot's retreat from Camelot wander from place to place stealing from small villages. Thank you. 
always by the god slayer Peridor's side was the mage Mirrodin, who legends tell was a slave created especially by the gods for the purpose of magical experimentation. Structures from the Age of Mythology are often protected by a powerful magic, but a key containing the might of the gods may grant entry. Catapults are siege weapons that launch stone projectiles to effectively demolish obstacles such as castle walls and even cliffs. For once known as champions of the people who stole from the rich and gave to the poor, the Dusk Hoods are now nothing more than a group of thieves, boots led by a man named Ralph. The ancient heroes Predor, Guinevar, and Encelus are complexly intertwined. First created as a slave, Guinevar was reborn as a rebellious warrior against the gods upon meeting Predor, and seeing the relationship between the two caused Encelus's heart to yearn for Guinevar as well.
Excalibur and the entity residing within Excalibur was once a magnificent dragon. It's unknown whether he can still take his original form. Just like Peridor, who first wielded Excalibur to save the world, someday the true king of Britain will bring peace to the land once more. I know I said no commentary, but this is kind of important, so let's finish it out. <laughs> they force you to leave chapter one, but you're not done just yet. Come right back in after. This is actually really deceiving because it seems like you're done. And then it says 96% and then it says 100% at the same time. You see the story says 100% and it's a bit confusing, but really we still have one more chest to grab. So let me show you where that is. You're going to click back to go to your adventure and then choose chapter one to go back to Camelot. Load on in here and get back to where we left off. Now you're going to notice on the map, you don't see the last chest here quite yet. There was one that we passed by that you could see from the road up high in a cliff. And here is where we enter. You go around the top. There is a random loot here to click awkwardly a bunch of times and eventually get it. Then there is a battle. Just a simple battle, nothing crazy here. So let's do that one. All right, quick battle, nothing fancy again, like I said. Typical rewards, but you definitely want to get them all. And our final chest. So chapter one actually complete now, and we'll verify that here. By going to the Chronicle, everything's 100% for real this time. And you get this really great coin of reincarnation, which allows you to reset your hero's growth and return the materials used. Now, there's certain things that don't get returned, like relics. I also think chivalry is not returned, but yeah. 
here is the map to show you everything you need to find. This is a good place to pause, to take a screenshot, whatever. Once upon a time in an era of myth, when Earth was a domain of gods and those gods created mankind as their slaves, mortals were playthings to these mighty beings and powerless to oppose their cruel whims and devious wills. Until one god did the unthinkable, the traitor Caliburn dared to pity mankind, and secretly taught magic to mortals, then persuaded them to stand against gods. Upon discovering his betrayal, the gods banished Caliburn to a prison within a blade. There, Caliburn would be a silent witness to the fall of man. However, the fire of rebellion had already sparked. Caliburn's training gave mankind a mighty weapon. Gods resisted but could not reverse the rising tides. The heroes sealed the god's spirit by an oath of the round table in their own blood. The gods were trapped just as they had imprisoned Caliburn. And so gods faded from the memory of man. Thousands of years passed and history became legend. Tales of these heroes were told until they were nothing more than fancy and folly. Mankind forgets, but gods never do. In the time of eternity, they will be patient, cursed, and ready. One day, they will revive to take revenge on the descendants of the heroes.